Um, I'm reading 2,500 questions. And I'm very obsessed with Star Wars, so. Whoa. I'm trying to make an APC out of Legos, by the way. It is not... Like, I can't find another one of these to put on that side. It's the last thing I need. And Tootsie will not leave me alone whatsoever, and I have a TV in my room. Tootsie. Tootsie. Go. I literally made a tent for you. I'm not doing anything to it. You... My lord. I got a cat. She won't leave me alone. Will you move? Stop. Tootsie, that's my butt. Tootsie, she's climbing all over me now. Help, guys. I need help. She's climbing all over me. She's lying down on me. Help. Help, guys. She's on me. Ugh. Ugh. She's probably going to sit on my lap for the entirety of the live stream. And this live stream is going to be very long because there's 2,500 questions. And I'm not allowed to research it. Get your... Oh, yeah. You're so cute. You won't leave me alone. <sighs> Stop it, Tootsie. <sighs> I need help, guys. She is not leaving me alone. She's now lying down on my arm. She's putting her butt in my chin. Stop it. <laughs> Tootsie! Stop it! It's been two minutes. Two and a half minutes and you will not leave me alone. I'm gonna kick you out of my room. If you keep it up, I'm kicking you out of my room. Stop it! She's like claiming it as her own. Get out of here! Let me do my live stream already. Here, look. I have a tent right here for you. If you can go in there and leave me alone! That would be much appreciated. Stop bobbing your face. Oh, my lord. Okay, we're plugged in and good to go. I have a cat that might be joining us. Tootsie, I really need you to stop. Now I can't move. She's sitting down in my lap. What do I do? Like, I literally... Can you move? Nope. Can you move? This is how much attention I'm giving her. She will not leave me alone. I will kick you out of my room, but I don't want to be too mean about it. <laughs> Guys, this video might be a little difficult if this cat will not leave me alone. Alright. Gotta sit back a little ways. What? What do you want? Can I at least put my blanket on before you start climbing all over me? No, you will not. This blank, I usually wear this blanket whenever I'm sitting in my room because this little cat has the claws of a tiger. So I have to wear this to kind of soften it up, soften it up. And she's probably gonna start making biscuits soon. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? Ugh, this is not the first time she hasn't left me alone. I acted right, David. I'm giving you your favorite massage. Nope, you just want to rub your face off of me. Oh, I got a cat. Ugh, I got cat hair on my mouth. Here, my 2,500 questions about Star Wars. Tootsie! There you go. You 
really like these. All right, so me and Tatia are going to be reading 2,500 questions about Star Wars. It goes from episode one all the way to episode eight, I think. I think it's episode eight. All right, I'm going to the very end. Oh. Never mind. This goes back to episode... It's the episode where they destroyed the giant satellite on Endor. I think that's episode six or seven. Six or seven. I don't know, but it ends on there. Return of the Jedi era. So Return of the Jedi. So it's episode seven, then. Should be. Anyway. All right, we're just going to go right off the bat by Benjamin Harper. That's who made this book, I think. Contacts, 1 through 410. 418. 1 through 418. Episode 1. No, oh, it goes on the chapter... It goes on the episode 6, or chapter 6, however you want to say it. So it does go to 6. I thought it went to 7. I guess not. Guys, I have not been through this book. I have not read this all until now. Since you shall help me by rubbing her face all over the edge of the book. And possibly chewing on my book. Alright, let's go. Question one. Who said you were right about one thing, Master? The negotiations were short. A. Anakin Skywalker. B. Qui-Gon Jinn. C. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or D. Yoda. Okay, well... It's obviously not Yoda or Qui-Gon Jinn. It's Anakin Skywalker. It's A. Yeah. Yeah, because Obi-Wan was training Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, so it was Anakin Skywalker. Question one, correct. You can search all this up, too. Question two, who was Qui-Gon Jinn's Padawan before he chose Obi-Wan? Oh, A, Kit Fisto. Uh, B, Zondados. I think, I think it's Zanados. X-A-N-A-T-O-S. I've never heard of that name. Zanados, C, Sarah C, or D, Plo Ku. So it's not C or B, it's A or D. It's Kit Fisto or Plo Ku. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure it's Plo Ku. I might be wrong. You know what, I'm gonna go with Kit Fisto. Number A. I don't know if that's right. Remember, you can search it up. Actually, yeah. Oh, oh, I can just use this. I can use my, my uh, TV to search some stuff up. <gasps> Since you went off my lap and I didn't notice. I had to enter the password. So I can search these questions up. I know number one is Riot, because I've watched The Phantom Menace too many times. Alright. Oh, I forgot. I just got done watching one of my videos, because I just like my videos that much. Um, no, I don't want to search it up on YouTube. I want to search it up on YouTube. So, the question is, who was Qui-Gon Jinn? Okay. So, I did A was Kate Fisto. So, who was... Quite Jin? Quite Jin's Padawan. Before? Before he chose Obi Wan. Oh, it was Zanados. It was Zanados. It was B. I did not know that. I did not know that. I did not know that. At all. Alright. Alright, question number three. How old was Padme Amadella when she was elected Queen of Naboo? As far as... I think it was... 
It should have been 19. So there's A, 14, B, 11, C, 19, or D, 16. I think it's C, 19. I think, yeah, it has to be 19. How old was Edna? Is this an E? Of Naboo. I was way off. It was A14. Wow. A14. I would have never expected that. 14. So if I was Naboo, I could be the king of Naboo right now. That's so strange. I did not know. Uh, then again, it is a movie. It's not real life. Alright. Question number four. Who did Qui-Gon Jinn run into in the swamps of Naboo? This is such an easy one. A. Captain Tarples. B. Boss Naz. C. Jar Jar Binks. D. Rep Bean. Everybody's, everybody knows this. Voice crack. Everybody knows this from the movie. It's Jar Jar Binks. He runs into the woman in the forest when the Separatists, the droids, are attacking Naboo. And he runs in the Jar Jar Banks, and he's, like, really big brain, and he can apparently jump really high. And then, yeah. And then they eventually meet, um, Boss Nass and Captain Charles. Alright, question number four. Five. Uh, who owned Anakin Skywalker before Watto bought him? A. Sabolba. B. Lana. C. Gardula the Hutt. Or D. Slide Lars, I think that's how you say it. Um, it was Sebulba. It was like that, you know, really weird forearm dude. It's so I don't know if you guys know this, but it was like pod racing season where there's like little pod racers. Anakin's actually got kind of a little wanky janky, but he eventually won. He was fighting off with Sebulba and he blew up Sebulba. And then Anakin won. He was the lone survivor. It was a really cool race, though. It was a really nice race. Six. Question six. What happened to Jar Jar Binks when he brought Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn to Ota Gunga? That's, like, kind of the village. A. He was welcomed home. B. Captain Tarples told him to leave. C. Captain Tarples took him to the bosses. D. He was made general. Okay. This is obviously very easy for me. A and D are crossed off. C, Captain Tarpal, is the boss. B, he told him to leave. Captain Tarpal told him to leave. Question 7. By age 7, Padme Amidala, Amidala had enrolled in which of the following? A, the Refuge Relocation Service. B, the Refuge Food Bank. C, the Refuge Transfer League, or D, the Refuge Relief Moment. Okay, this is probably the easiest question yet. B, C, and D are crossed off. It's A, the Refuge of Relocation Service. Because they had the, when they were attacking, they had to relocate, and then they kind of got trapped. Which is, yeah. Question 8, the last question of page number 1. And I'm pretty sure there are 319 pages. And we're on page one. So we're getting there. Question eight. On which planet did Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi temporarily decide to leave Qui-Gon Jinn and the Jedi Order? A. Coruscant. B. Melita slash Dan. D-A-A-N. Uh, C. Naboo. Or D. Tatooine. So he was a Padawan. It was not Tatooine or Naboo. I don't think it was Melita or Melita. I think it was Coruscant. I used to call Coruscant Croissant, like the planet. Pl Look, we're going to planet Croissant. We're not the French. So on which planet? Did. Uh, 
will be leave y gone chin ten wait well Or Kenobi. Rarely. Temporarily. Decide to leave. Qui Gon Jin and the Jedi Order. I was wrong again. It was Naboo. I thought it wasn't Naboo. No, because the Jedi Order's in Cloud City. And that is in Naboo. Okay. Okay. So I was wrong. Only two wrong out of... Eight. Two out of eight. So I got six questions right. Sixteen minutes on one page, so... I have 368. So this... The video is probably going to be all day long. All right, page two. Question nine. Who said, Desan doin murder da misa skin? I think I can do the George R. Biggs. Desan doin murder da misa skin? I think that's how you do it. Um, A, Wado, B, Sebulba, C, Jojo Banks, D, Anakin Skywalker. Okay, first of all, Sebulba and Wado definitely don't say Desan Don Murdo to Misa Skin. And Anakin Skywalker should just not talk like he's on crack. It's Jar Jar Banks. C. Question 10. What did Anakin Skywalker do that made Qui-Gon Jinn think he was, think he has Jedi reflexes? A, he levitated. B, he trained EOPs. You can search that up on your own. C, he was a pod racer. D, he had high midi-chlorine account. account. Midi-chlorine. Chlorine account. Um. So it was Anakin Skywalker. If I'm... Certain. I think it was because he was a pod racer. I don't know. Anakin Skywalker. Do Why Gon Jin Is it gonna tell me? He is a pod racer. I was right. C. He's a pod racer. I was correct. <sighs> question 11. It's a long question. Alright, question 11. Queen Amidala barely escaped the Trade Federation's blockade of Naboo when she and her Jedi protectors blasted past the droid control ship and the rest of the Trade Federation fleet. Their ship, however, was damaged during their escape, rendering their hyperdrive engine unusable. They needed to land somewhere to repair the ship. So they chose the planet Tatooine because of its proximity to Naboo and the Outer Rim. When they landed, Qui-Gon Jinn... Jar Jar Binks, R2-D2, and Queen Amidala's handmaiden Padme 
left the ship and went to Mos Espa in search of, of the parts needed to repair the hyperdrive. The group searched Mo Mos Espa for a used parts dealer until they finally came to Watto's shop. Padme met Anakin Skywalker for the first time as, as Qui-Gon Jinn and Watto went off to look for the parts they needed to repair Queen Amidala's ship. When did Anakin think Padme was the was when he first saw her? When did Anakin think Padme? When he first saw her. So the question is, what did Anakin think of Padme when she when he first saw her? A a queen, B a fairy, C an angel, D a princess. I think it was D. D was a princess. I think it's a princess. Princess. You know what? You guys to search it up and you guys anybody who's watching this right now, which it looks like nobody's watching, but I think there might be someone. I know you're watching this video. And I hope you like and subscribe right now so you'll never have good luck in the rest of your life. Search it up and then just put it like right there in the comments. I think Extreme Gamer my cousin should be watching this. Hopefully he'll like search this up and kind of put it in the live comments. But yes, I am no longer going to search stuff up. Anybody who's watching will. Okay. Okay. 2,500 questions. That's just so much. Like, jeez, Louise. Oh, nice. I've got two likes. I'm trying to pull up YouTube Studios. Well, it looks like we're doing good. Okay. We're good now. Oh, someone's actually watching. Sweet. All right, question 12, question one, two. Who was Anakin Skywalker's father? A, Melodro Skywalker, B, T. Mel Skywalker, C, Orkin Skywalker, or D, he didn't have a father. Okay, D is the dumbest answer ever. He did have a father. It was Darth Vader. That was, no, that was his, yeah, that was his real father. No, that was... Gosh, I'm getting names mixed up. Luke Skywalker is the son of Darth Vader. Anakin Skywalker is Darth Vader. But Anakin's dad... was Mildro Skywalker. A, I am certain it was Mildro. Comment down below right now. Why is my YouTube studio not working? Dude, come on. Can you, like, actually work, please? Oh, we have two people watching? Oh, hi! Whoever's watching this, um, 2,500 questions of Star Wars. And I'm not searching any of these questions up, so you can search it up just in case I'm wrong. Yeah, I don't know what my YouTube studio is doing. And they left. Anyway... Question 13. Which Jedi Master at one time tried to convince Qui-Gon Jinn to join the Jedi Council? A. Kaidi Mundi. B. Plo Koon. C. Yarel Poof. Or D. Yaddle. Tried to convince Qui-Gon Jinn, so not Anakin. Plo Koon was in the Jedi Council. But so was Kia D. Mundi. I'm gonna go with... Kia D. Mundi. Because I'm pretty sure that's who he tried to convince. But I think Plo Koon actually got him into the Jedi Council. Question! Voice crack of the century, you guys. Question 14. 
What was Queen Amidala's birth name? A. Padme Nubri. B. Padme Taburi. C. Padme Nabri. Or D. Padme Obri, Aubrey. Tabri, Nabri, Aubrey, and Nubri. There's a lot of re. They're all re's. I think it was C. Padme Nabri. Only because Nab, Nabu, Nabri. That's the only reason why I think it's D or C. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Question 15. Which aspect of the force was most important to Qui-Gon Jinn? Okay, he had a lot of aspects on the force. A, an unifying force. B, the light side of the force. C, the living force. Or D, the dark side of the force. It was not D. Or A. I think. I don't think it's A. It was most important to Qui-Gon Jinn. The living force. Because the light side of the force, he's already on the light side. So I'm pretty sure it's C, the living force. I am certain. Uh, question 16. Who was the secret force behind the Trade Federation's blockade of Naboo? A. Darth Trin Tri Tyrannus. Darth Tyrannus. B. Darth Sidious. C. Darth Plagueis. And D. Darth Bane. Darth Bane? I don't think was in the blockade at all. Or Dark Plagueis. Uh. No, it was Darth Sidious. It was Darth Sidious. It was Darth Sidious. Question 17. How old was Padme when she became an apprentice? Oh, apprentice legislator on that bit. A, 10, B, 11, C, 7, D, 13. Definitely wasn't 7. Definitely was not 11. So it's 10 or 13. It was an apprentice legislator. It was, it's 13. Because 7, that's way too young. 10 and 11, I'm pretty sure that's when stuff was happening. I don't know. So, I'm pretty sure it was 13. Page number 3. Question 18. What did Darth Sidious call Dalte Dauphine when Dauphine remarked that their plan had failed? A. Grimy Grub. B. Filthy Worm, C, Stun Slime, or D? D, Kawakian Monkey Lizard. <laughs> Kawakian Monkey Lizard. It definitely was not D. Uh, I think it was A, Grimy Grub. I think so. I don't know. Okay, I just don't know. Oh, Lord. I gotta lay down. My back's starting to hurt. Alright. Hopefully this blanket's big enough for me. It's kind of small. It's kind of... Perfect! <sighs> Alright. Question 19. What did Jar Jar Binks owe Qui-Gon Jinn after Jin rescued him during the Trade Federation invasion of Naboo. Um, a, a trip to Otagunga. Otagunga! Freaking everybody there hates him. B, a bongo. Uh, C, a life death. Or D, 9,000 Republic credits. It was an oh, Jar Jar Binks O qui -Gon Jin. I think it was C, a life death. A life death. I think it was C, a life death. Life death. 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 I don't know. I really don't know. Um, question 20. Why did Chancellor Valorum send Qui-Gon Jinn to Obi-Wan Kenobi to Naboo? Oh, send Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi to Naboo. A, to acquire a fleet of battle droids. B, to negotiate the release of Queen Amidala. 
uh, C, to map out alternative trade routes through the system, or D, to settle the trade dispute. Definitely was not D. They cannot settle that. I don't th think it was B. They sent him to Naboo. I think it was C, the map to the alternative trade routes through the system. I think it was C, to map out alternative trade routes through the system. Oh, Lord, this next question for me is going to be a little hard. Okay. Um, question 21. How tall is Jar Jar Binks? A, 1.74 meters. B, 1.96 meters. C, 0.81 meters. Or D, 2.20 meters. Yeah, I don't know this one. So, he, as far as I know, he was... Either as tall as Qui-Gon, or a little bit taller. Let's go with B. 1.96 meters. I think that's how tall he was. I don't know. Question 22. When speaking before the Senate of Coruscant, what action did Queen Amidala move for a vote on? A, tariffs or a Perlemian trade route. I don't think I know that trade route. B, disbanding the Trade Federation. C, no confidence in Chancellor Valorum. Or D, extending the Chancellor's term limit. Um, if I can remember from the movie, I think it was B, disbanding the Trade Federation route. Or just disbanding the Trade Federation itself. I think it was B. Question 23. On which planet did young Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn first form the connection? A. Tatooine, B. Melita or Dan, C. Bandomir or D. Telos. Young Obi-Wan and young Qui-Gon. First form a connection. So when did they meet each other? They met each other on Telos, didn't they? Didn't they move to the Tatooine? I think it was Tatooine. I'm pretty sure it was Tatooine. A Tatooine. I think that's what it is. That's my answer. A Tatooine. Question 24. What did Darth Sidious want from Queen Amidala to do? A, turn over her Ryan of Naboo to him. B, sign a treaty that allowed the Trade Federation to use Naboo's water supply. C, sign a treaty to legitimize that, that, oh, sign a treaty that legitimized the Trade Federation's blockade of Naboo. Or D, run for Senate. It was D, that was really easy, run for Senate. All right, well, no, 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 it was not D. No. Or was it D? Was it D run for Senate? I think it was A. Turn over her ride to Naboo. Woohoo! Next page. Question 25. According to Obi Wan, how high was Anakin Skywalker's midi chlorian account? Oh lord, I cannot remember this specific part of the movie. A, off the chart, B, above average, C, norma, or D, very weak. If I'm certain, so Anakin Skywalker turned into Darth Vader. So I think his was B, above average. 26, question 26. According to Obi-Wan, how did Anakin's... Midi Chlorian count compared to Master Yoda's. A. It was the same. B. It was higher. C. It was lower. Or D. No one knew what Yoda's Midi Chlorian count count was. These are based off the movies. 
If it's based off the movies, then it should be D. No one knew what his Korean or midi Korean account was. Or count. midi Korean count. Uh, 27. Question 27. It's a long question. All right. Anakin Skywalker spent much of his young collecting spare parts. Or young. <sighs> Anakin Skywalker spent much of his youth collecting spare parts to build his own pot racer. He salvaged Radon Yulzar. Rising engines that had been thrown out and rewired them, rerouting the fuel distribution and adding revolutionary technology that created a greater thrust of fuel throughout the engines. He had yet to test his pod racer, though. He had been waiting for the appropriate moment. When Qui-Gon Jinn, Padme, R2-D2, and Jar Jar happened upon him in Watto's junk shop and needed assistance, he immediately offered to help. He could enter himself in the... Bunta Yi Pod Race. I did not know that. Which he was sure he would win. And then give the money he earned to the stranded traveler so Qui-Gon could purchase parts to repair the Queen's vessel. First, however, he needed to make sure the pod racer would work. So he, R2-D2, C-3PO, and Jar Jar set out making the final repairs to ensure perfect performance. Jar Jar, prone to the clumsiness, was working very close to a portion of Anakin's pod racer that, if touched, would make his hand go numb for hours. And he did touch it. What part was that? A. Fuel atomizer. B. Thrust ring. C. Fuel injector nozzle. Or D. Energy binders. Well, there's a little picture right here. So it shows him getting shocked. He is holding a part. There's a pod racer. And it looks like he's touching a type of cable. So if he touched it, it, it wouldn't be the thrust ring or the fuel atomizer. Because the fuel atomizer is inside the engine. The fuel injector nozzle, that's what he's holding right now. So I'm pretty sure it's D, energy binders. All right. Um, question 28. How old was Anakin Skywalker when Qui-Gon Jinn and Padme Amidala happened into Watto's shop? Junk shop. A, 7, B, 8, C, 9, D, 10. I can remember. He was really young. He was, like, really, really young. He was not 7, I know. He was eight years old. Oh my gosh, I cannot get a comfortable position. Sitting up is going to be the only thing that's going to be comfortable now. I don't know. I don't know what's going to be comfortable at this point. Alright, which question are we in? Question 29. What it? I did not realize Tootsie was sleeping. I did not know she was sleeping. I'm still probably gonna have to talk about the um question 29 when working at as a waiter at a party in boss mass mansion what did jar jar banks do a he broke all of the cadu eggs b he forgot to turn off the stove c he flooded boss mass mansion d he dropped the cake on the floor i kind of forgot about this but I'm pretty sure he dropped a cake on the floor. I'm pretty sure. So I think it was D, he dropped a cake on the floor. I think, you know, personally, if I dropped it on the floor, I would just grab it and I would just throw it at somebody. Um, question 30. What did Queen Amidala do as a security measure whenever she was in public? A, she emitted an invisible force field. B, she wore bulletproof armor. C, she surrounded herself by an elite security force. D, she disguised herself as one of the handmaidens. 
It was D, I'm pretty sure. I think it was D because we don't want anybody knowing that she was like the queen. Uh, so D, she was, she was stuck with herself. Uh, question 31. What ruler of Naboo did Queen Amidala replace? A. King Robena, B. King Flobanka, C. King Varuna, or D. Queen Lam Lantuna? Ruler of Naboo. I think it was a king of some sort. There's only one queen, so I'm thinking it's D. I think it was A, King Rabenna. King Rabenna. I mean, it's... I don't know. It's gotta be. You guys cannot say. Okay. I started 40... Dang, minutes ago. 2,500 questions. We're only at question 32. This is gonna take a while. I don't know if I can do this all day. There's so many questions. Um, question 32. What keepsake did Qui-Gon Jinn have from his homeworld? A. A pebble from the Lake of, his, of Dreams. B. A gem from the Cave of Wisdom. C. A rock from the River of Light. Or D. A bracelet from the Ocean of Time. Now, these are all places that I have no clue what they are or where they're at. I think it was a gem. I think it was B, a gem from the Cave of Wisdom. I don't know. You guys search it up. I'm not searching this up because if I search questions up, it's going to be a lot longer. This video is going to be a lot longer. See, if I searched up every single question, we'd probably be at question 20 at this point. I don't know. Question 33. What did Darth Sidious do to cement the Nimbodians, Nimbodians control of the Trade Federation Directorate? A. He fabricated scandals that forced all other species to resign. B. He bought out all other species' stock. Uh, C. He helped them overpower the other members of the Federation. Or D. He arranged for all non- Nimodian members to be assassinated. And this was Darth Sidious to destroy the Nimodians. So it was not A or B. I don't think it was C. Cement. So, in other words, kill. C. It was C. Help them overpower the members of the Federation. Uh, question 34. How tall was Queen Amidala? Okay. It's giving me heights now. And I know Queen Amidala was smaller than um, Anakin. So I think she was 1.45 meters, I'm pretty sure. If not, it's 1.25 meters. So it's... Oh, it was... Here. A, 1.55 meters, B, 1.45 meters, C, 1.65 meters, or D, 1.25. It's either B or D, I'm guessing B. Question 35. What did Anakin Skywalker give to Padme so she would remember him? A, a collection of his favorite traditional songs. B, a flute he carved out of a branch. C, he carved a japer snippet. Or D, he smooth pebble, a smooth pebble he found in Moss Espa. I'm pretty sure it was B, a flute, I think. Question 36. What evil scientist captured Qui-Gon Jinn, helped him, held him prisoner on Simbla 12, and experimented on him in order to learn about the Force? A, Zena Fan Fak, B, Zena Moarder, C, Jenna Zen Arbor, or D, Jenna Den Marder? I think it was B, Zena Moard. I think so. Why does it keep going? 
Um, question 37. How old is Queen Amidala when she was elected Princess of Feed? Princess of Feed. A, 13, B, 10, C, 14, or D, 12? I think it was 13 or 14. I think it was 14. I'm pretty sure it was 14. Question 38. What was the ceremonial red mark? Ceremonial. Ceremonial red mark on Queen Amidala's lower lip. Known as A, the Tear of Tydria, B, the Scar of Remembrance, C, the Scar of Great War, or D, the Tear of Feed. It was D, because she was from Feed. Question 39. What did Qui-Gon Jinn disguise himself as to protect Barnes, Baroness Omnio, Omnino five years before the Battle of Naboo? A, a Tuscan Raider, B, a Senate Guard, C, a Bounty Hunter, or D, a Smuggler? I think it was C. I think he disguised himself as a Bounty Hunter. Guess what? We're not even to 100. There's 2,500. Yeah, this is going to be very long. Question 40. What tragic event happened when Anakin Skywalker was 7? A. He was separated from Shmi for a period of time. B. Wano nearly sold him to Jabba the Hutt. C. He crashed his first pod racer, barely escaped. And he barely escaped. D. Slave traders took his friend and Ami's mother. Tragic event happened when he was 7. It was not A. I don't think it was D. I think it was... Mm. I think it was D. He took Amy's mother. Question 41. From whom did Captain Tarples rescue Jar Jar Binks almost immediately before arresting Jar Jar Binks and then... Banishing him from Otto Gunga. A. Chef Marshu. B. Chef Band. C. Chef Nizzles. Or D. Grand Chef Parky. I think it was Chef Band. I think. I think it was B. Chef Band. Question 42. What? Compassionate yet dangerous act did young Anakin Skywalker perform on Tatooine. A. He helped a wounded Sarlacc. B. He helped a wounded Hut. C. He helped a wounded Dog. D. He helped a wounded Tuscan Raider. I think he. I think it was A. He helped a wounded Sarlacc. Maybe. Or was it B? It's A or B. Either he helped a Sarlacc or he helped a Hut. Or D. I don't know. <sighs> I'm going to go with D. He helped him win the Tuscan Raider. 43. Question 43. Which Gungan law forbade Jar Jar Binks to return to Ota Gunga after he had been banished? A. The Returnity Law. B. The Noceum Law. C, the no come back law, or D, the use of banished law. Which Gungan law forbid Jar Jar Binks to return? Uh, it's D, the use of banished law. And guys, you know what? Every live stream, I'm going to do a live stream until I go to 100 questions. So, I think in the next month, there should be... Should be 25 live streams that should be an hour and a half long. If not, an hour and 52 minutes precisely. Okay. Because it's uh just at 50 minutes. 50 plus 50 is 100. 60 is one hour. 
So there's another. So there's another 40. So that's an hour and 40. An hour and 40, and I'm on to question 44. <coughs> so it should be around two hours when I get done with this. Oh, I gotta lay down for this one. It's one of those long questions again. Question 44. <coughs> My voice. Amidala, the newly elected queen of Naboo, had a very difficult situation on her hands. The Trade Federation, displeased with the Senate's vote to approve the taxation of trade routes throughout the galaxy, he decided had decided to show the, its unhappiness with this decision by setting up a blockade around the small planet of Naboo, allowing no shipments to leave from or arrive on the planet. Queen Amidala contacted Chancellor Valorum about the situation on her planet, and the Chancellor assured her that he was sending two ambassadors from the Republic to negotiate an end to the Trade Federation's blockade. After she spoke with the Trade Federation Vic Viceroy, Viceroy Newt Gunray and heard from him that no ambassadors had arrived to discuss this a settlement, she got in touch with Senator Palpatine on, on Coruscant while talking to the Senator. However, their communication was disrupted at the point C.O. Bibble, governor of Theed, stated that their planet was being invaded. What course of action did Queen Amidala stress that they should take? I don't know. Um, A, the course of action that would lead to war. B, they needed to evacuate immediately. C, of course of action... That would not lead to war. D, they needed to be patient. It could have been a communication a communications error. I think it was B, they needed to evacu evacuate. Evacuate. Evacuate? Okay. I'm going to go with B. Oh, but these long questions take two minutes long. So this might be like two hours, 20 minutes. Uh, question 45. What was so special about the fact that Anakin participated in pod races? A, he was self-taught, he was a self-taught pilot. B, he was the youngest entrant ever in the Bo Bunta Eva race. Bunta E race. C, uh, he was the only human who could do it. D, he came up with the entry fees himself. So... It says what's so special about the fact that he participated in Pod Racers. There's three right answers. It's he he was self taught. Um, he did come up with the fees and entries by himself, and he was the youngest entrant ever. So this is a multiple choice. I'm assuming. So it's A, B, or C. Those are all correct. Or A no A, B, and D are all correct. He was not the only human who could do it. There were probably lots of other humans on Tatooine that could do pod races. All right, I'm gonna go with a solid B. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go with A, because I think that's the most special that he taught himself how to pod race. He did take notes while pod racing too. Wow, okay. Uh, question 46, how tall is Qui-Gon Jinn? Okay, is there gonna be one of every single height character? This is... How tall is Qui Gon Jinn? A. 1.82 meters. B. 1.93 meters. C. 2.02 2 .02 meters. Or D. 2.16 meters. He was a very tall man. I think he, he was shorter than Jar Jar. Or was he? No, he was the same height as Jar Jar. And Jar Jar was very big. 1.93 meters. Let's go with that. What? Courageous acted Anakin Skywalker perform in the Battle of Naboo. A. He helped infiltrate Feed Palace. B. He destroyed the main reactor of the droid control ship. C. He aided Jar Jar Binks in the flight against the droid army. D. He assisted Qui Gon Jinn in his fight against the Sith. Um, I'm pretty sure it's B. They, I think they destroyed the main reactor of the droid control ship. Or it was D. I don't know. I'm going with B though. Question 48, with which Jedi did Qui-Gon Jinn 
pledge his love while on a mission to New Esfalon. A. Ra B. Pa C. Dar D. Ta. Uh, question 48, right there, top one. You can read it. Hey, don't tell me nothing. I don't know how to say them. Um, pledge his love. Jedi Knight. Which Jedi Knight did he pledge his love? I think it was D. Tall. I think it was D. Yeah. Oh, dang it. I thought it was a big bird. Nope. Question 49. We're almost to question 50. Okay, I gotta do this in four minutes. Um, with which... Oh, no. Question 49. How did Jar Jar Binks become an orphan? A, his parents died in a fire. They live underwater. Uh, B, his parents were killed by a marauding sea monster. C, his parents were so embarrassed by him that they deserted him. D, his parents were killed by bandits. His parents was killed. So C is crossed off. I think it was D. I think they got killed by bandits. I don't know. Oh, I think it... No, it was B, wasn't it? They got killed by a marauding... Marauding sea monster. Question 50. We're halfway there. What was Obi-Wan Kenobi's final promise to Qui-Gon Jinn? A, to carry on the flight against the Sith. B, to train Anakin Skywalker. C, to avenge Qui-Gon Jinn's death. Uh, D, to find Padawan worthy of his trading. What did Obi-Wan Kenobi's final promise to Qui-Gon Jinn? Okay, it was not C, because he's giving the promise to Qui-Gon Jinn, and C says to avenge Qui-Gon Jinn's death. This one's saying he died, even... Okay. C is, like, not even a real answer. Um... I think it was D, to find a pattern worthy of his training. I think so. Whoa, no, 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 no. It was not. It was A, to carry the flight up against the Sith. All right, well, we're going to have a little break. You guys can do whatever you want for five minutes. In the meantime, grab some popcorn, grab a snack, grab a water. We're going to be here for another hour. Like popcorn takes like two minutes to cook or three you cook your popcorn you'll be here in a couple minutes maybe cook a burrito while you're at it make sure to add salt and butter to that popcorn otherwise it's not real popcorn don't add pepper pepper's disgusting with popcorn um if you're cooking pizza make sure there's no pineapple on it because i had pineapple on pizza last night and it was actually very amazing i did not expect that um grab a glass of water maybe a water bottle so it can hold a little more water because you're going to be here for a while um, also, my YouTube studio says I cannot comment on this live stream, which is kind of weird. I don't know why. Um, let's see. Yeah. Until it hits one hour, that's when I'm gonna go get back at it. I rearranged my room, by the way. My bed used to be where my desk was. And I'm looking right out the window, which is giving this nice light, and that window is closed. And the door is right behind me, or technically, if you're laying down like this, your head is pointing that way, so technically, my wall is above me, and my roof is a wall. This is a wall. And the that wall is now the ground. See, now my door is on the roof, technically. So is my closet. You know, I, I kind of make myself confused, but I also make other people confused. But yeah, if you're laying down, wherever your head's pointing, that's the roof. Like, right now, my door's the roof. Now you guys are on the roof. Now that's the roof. And now that's the roof. Alright, your guys' popcorn better be done cooking. Because we're moving on now. 
Question 51. Who said, feel, don't think, trust your instincts? A, Obi-Wan Kenobi. B, Shmi Skywalker. C, Qui-Gon Jinn. D, Padme Nab Nabri. So I was right on that one question. It was Padme Nabri. Because Nabu, Nabri. I knew it. Feel, don't think, trust your instincts. That was C, Qui-Gon Jinn, I think. I think so. I think we're, I don't know. Right now, I'm reading all of the questions that, like, I'm literally reading the movie. I'm reading the movie. I'm answering the movie. It's weird. Uh, question 40, 52. My, man's get, my brain's getting mixed up. What shocking discovery did Padme and Navri make upon landing on Tatooine and visiting Mos Espa? A that there was virtually no moisture on the planet, B, the hyperdrivers were expensive, C, that slavery still existed in the galaxy, D, that Naboo boots didn't fare well in desert climates. Upon landing on Tatooine and visiting Mos Espa, uh, I think the hyperdrives were very expensive. There was also literally no moisture on the planet. It's a desert. Tatooine is a planet. That's a desert. Um, I think it was B, because hyperdrives are freaking expensive. I know how to get one for free. I watched Han Solo and Chewbacca. Or I think it was Han Solo and Chewbacca. No, 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 no. I think it was Luke Skywalker and Obi-Wan. I think they sold a Millennium Falcon. I don't know. Somebody stole the Millennium Falcon. I forget. And that's how you get a ship for free. Oh, yeah. Dive Hunters blew up that, too. Well, no, that was Ray. Ray. Ray and BB-8 stole the Millennium Falcon. And then the TIE Fighters came in and blew up the ship that we were going to. Anyway. Question 53. Anakin Skywalker had a special ability that made him very important worker in Wano's shop. What was it? A. He had been trained as a plumber. B. He spoke 14 different languages. C. He was very mechanically inclined. D. He had Jedi reflexes. Watto's junk shop. I think it was B. He spoke 14 different languages. Because if I'm certain, I think there's 38 different languages on Tatooine. The Tuscan Raiders actually do talk English, by the way. Their yells are calls, like they call people, but they can actually talk. Search it up. I'm not searching it up for you. Question 54. To whom did Qui-Gon Jinn sell Anakin's pod racer after Anakin won the Bunta Eve Classic pod race? A. Kitster. B. Watto. C. Sebulba. D. Jira. Sebulba died. Um, Watto was very mad at Anakin Skywalker. Jira and Kitster, I, th Kitster. <sighs> I think it was Kitster. I don't know. Yeah, I, th I think it was A, Kitster. Question fifty-five: What gift? What gift that their that her parents gave her did Queen Amidala keep with her at all times? Okay, this is such a weird question. A, a brooch. B, a fan. C, an amulet. D, a ring. It was C, an amulet. Next page. Ooh, we're getting into Darth Maul stuff. Question 56. Why was Qui-Gon Jinn originally hesitant to make an Obi-Wan Kenobi as a Padawan? A, he sensed great fear in Obi-Wan. B, Obi-Wan was meant to be a farmer. C, his previous Padawan had deserted the Jedi Order in anger. D. Obi Wan was not in tune with the Living Force. I, I think it was C. His previous Padawan had deserted the Jedi Order in anger. And I'm pretty sure that was Darth Maul. Question 57. How old is Obi Wan Kenobi at the Battle of Naboo? A. 23. B. 25. C. 17. Or D. 20. Ew. I think it was D. 20. He, did, he was not very old then. This is the first episode, guys. He was not very old. The 
think it was 20. No. It was 17. It was 17 because he was still being trained. So, he was 17 at Naboo, but when he came back to Naboo, he was 23. So, there's... Oh, the Battle of Naboo. Uh, 20, then. Yeah, so, I was right. It was 20. Question 58. What one tradition did Queen Amidala retain from her native village in Naboo? On Naboo. Uh, A, she meditated every morning. B, she fasted on Fridays. C, her thumbnails were painted white. D, she ate no meat. It was a tradition. I think it was A. I think she meditated every morning. I don't know. Uh, question 59. How did Jar Jar Binks get his sentence at the Cory Penal Colony commuted? A, he saved Boss Nass niece, uh, Major Fasa. B, he rescued a rare albino, Nuna. C, he saved Boss Nass from drowning. D, he taught the other prisoners how to wrangle shacks. I think... I think he saved Boss Nass niece. Boss Nass's niece. I think so, yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, for liking. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love it. Question 60. Against whom did Amidala run in the election to rule Naboo? A, Boss Naz, B, Jamila, uh, C, Sel Bibble, or D, Graf Zapala? Whom did Amidala run in the election? To rule. Graphs Apollo. So that's D. Graphs Apollo. Question 61. How did Shmi Skywalker get sold into slavery? A. She was born a slave. B. Her parents sold her. C. Pirates captured and sold her. Uh, D. She was stolen from an orphanage. She was not born a slave. Her parents did not sell her. C. Pirates captured her and then sold her. Chapter 62. Early in Darth Maul's training, his master taught him how to control his fear by trapping him in a room full of what type of venomous creatures? A. Cowhans. B. Dinkos. C. Gradlacks. Or D. Florks. I'm pretty sure it was Gradlacks. I th yeah, I think it was Gradlacks. It was Gradlax or Florks. I can't remember which one. Um, question 63. How tall was Trade Federation Fisery New Gun Riot? Okay. Here's the problem with this question. He was tall, but he was short. He's in between um, Jar Jar Binks and Qui-Gon. He might be slightly bigger than, um, Jar Jar. I think he's, so there's A, 2.10 meters, B, 2.03 meters, C, 1.91 meters, and D, 1.84 meters. Now, he was a very tall man. I think he was 2.03 meters, so that's a B. I think so. I don't know. Question 64. What was Ruin Hako's primary job during the Battle of Naboo? A. He was Newt Gunray's security officer. B. He was Newt Gunray's legal counsel. C. He was a tactical expert. And D. He maintained the droid army. I think it was C. I think he was a tactical expert. If it's not C, then it's definitely A, that he was a security officer. All right. Question 65. 
What was Lot Dodd's position in the Trade Federation? A. Viceroy Emeritus. Uh, B. Senator. C. Secretary of War. Or D. Secretary of Treasury. This was Lot Dodd. Lot Dodd. He is not shown much in the movie, but if I'm sure, he is Secretary of War, I think. Question 66. Kind of like Order 66, but question 66. What was Dalte defines part of the Trade Federation ship Revenue's battle against the pirates at the edge of Dorvala? This is not in the movie. I don't know where this is coming from. A, he maintained the droid hold. B, he was the ship's commander. C, he was the pilot. D, he was... He monitored the cargo bay. I... I don't think this was in the movie. Even if it was, I don't remember. I think it was... A f part. What was his part? What was his part? I think it was D. He monitored the cargo bay, I think. Question 67. Who was elected governor of Theed during Varuna's reign as king of Naboo? This is king. Padme Amidala? No. She was not a governor. B. Uh, Hello Brandis. C. Lufta Schiff. Or D. C.O. Bibble. C.O. Bibble is a king. So it's either B or C. I'm pretty sure it was B. Hello Brandis. I think so. Question 68. Uh, other than racing in the pod races, how else did Sobulba participate in them? A. He was in charge of the vendors. B. He, he personally hired all of the ver various pilot pit crews. C. He organized and rehearsed the bands that played whenever he entered the arena. D. He was hired as an after-the-race commendator for the hollow net. Jeez, I haven't seen the Hollow Knight in a while. Um, as far as I know, he was in charge of the vendors, I think. I think he was in charge of the vendors. Uh, question 69. Just don't. How many times had Queen Amidala met Senator Palpatine before her journey to Coruscant to address the Senate. A, she had never met him. B, two times. C, three times. D, one time. How many times have Queen uh, met Senator Palpatine before her journey? Um, three times it should have been. Now that I think about that, I don't... I don't think she ever met him. I'm going to go with A. I don't think she's ever met him. Question 70. A long question. A long question. Oh. After Viceroy Gunray revealed that Darth Sidious, or revealed to Darth Sidious, that Queen Amidala had managed to escape Naboo and get past the Trade Federation's blockade, in enraged, Darth Sidious exclaimed, I want that treaty signed. Gunray stated timidly that it would be impossible to locate her ship because it was too far out of the Trade Federation's range. It was at this point that Darth Sidious revealed his secret weapon, his apprentice, Darth Maul. Not for the Sith, he told Gunray. Uh, this is my apprentice, Darth Maul. He will find your lost ship. Later, the, after Darth Maul had tracked the location of Queen Amidala's ship, he and Darth Sidious continued their meeting in the secret location in the galaxy's capital planet, Coruscant. Tatooine is sparsely populated, Maul reported. If the trace was correct, I will find them quickly, Master. After this, Darth Sidious gave Darth Maul explicit directions. What was Darth Maul to do first? A. Find and destroy Queen Amidala. B. Find the boy. C. Move against the Jedi. Or D. Get Queen Amidala to sign the treaty. I think it was B to find the boy, because I'm pretty sure, I'm pr yeah, I'm pretty sure Palpatine knew 
that young Anakin Skywalker was going to be a Jedi. And since he was, you know, pretty easy to be listened to. Question 71. Who replaced Captain Magneta as head of the Royal Naboo Security Forces? A. Captain Tarples. B. Captain Panica. C. Captain Cronella. Or D. Captain Zesta. It was definitely not Tarples because he has his own little city under the water. It was not Captain Zesta. I'm pretty sure it was C. Captain Cronella. We're almost done. Oh, I forgot Jar Jar Binks in this little picture was eating a frog. Raw. Look at that dog. Uh, question 72. What was Supreme Chancellor uh, Valorum's first name? A. Tennis. B. Lennis. C. Tennis. D. Minus. They're all in with Miss. So it's either T. Lee. Fee. Or me. I think it was Supreme Finnis Chancellor. Finnis Valorum. Winnis Valorum. I think it was C. Finnis. I think, it, yeah, I think it was C. Finnis. Question 73. How old was Mace Windu during the Battle of Naboo? A. 38. B. 40. C. 48. Or D. 50. I'm pretty sure he was 40. Um, question 74. What happened to Yoda 12 years before the Battle of Naboo? A, he was, immor he was immortalized, immortalized as a statue in front of the Jedi Temple. That is not true. B, he was voted senior member of the Jedi Council. C, he was the target of an assassination attempt. D, he temporarily considered running for Senate. It is B, he, vo he was voted senior member of the Jedi Council. Question 75. What was Wada's favorite pastime? A. Singing. B. Gambling. Uh, C. Bargaining. Or D. Trading. It was B. Gambling. Seven <sighs> Question 76. How tall... Oh, jeez. Voice crack. How tall was Boss Nass? He was freaking tall. A. 2.8. Zero eight meters, B, 1.99 meters, C, 2.06 meters, or D, 2.02 meters. Uh, it was C, 2.06 meters. Question 76. Where was Shmi Skywalker's primary workplace? A, her home, B, Wado's home, C, Wado's shop, or D, a stall in Moss Espa? Primary workplace? I'm pretty sure it was at her home. Question 78. After locating Queen Amidala, what happened to Darth Maul while he was en route to capture her on Tatooine? A. He needed to replace the crystals in his lightsaber. B. He had to stop and repair his ship. C. He was ambushed by Targaryen pirates. D. He had to purchase probe droids. It was D. He had to purchase probe droids. Uh, question 79. Who exclaimed, at last we will have revenge? A, Darth Maul, B, Obi-Wan Kenobi, C, Qui-Gon Jinn, or D, Darth Sidious. This is the easiest one ever. It's D, Darth Sidious. Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan definitely wouldn't say that. So, yeah. Uh, question 80. 20 questions away. Which Jedi was not a member of the Jedi Council? Yaddle, Yarrow Poof, or A, Yaddle, B, Yarrow Poof, C, Qui-Gon Jinn, or D, Sassily Tin. It was Yarrow Poof. D, B, I meant. My, like, I've talked so much that my words are starting to slur. So, yeah, so we're almost at 80 minutes. Jeez. All right. Question 81. What was Lot Dodd unable to keep the Senate from taxing? A. Shipments. B. Free trade zones. C. Fuel. D. Droid armies. And to keep taxing? Um, free trade zones. Question 82. Who said Darth Sidious were, we dare, yeah, who said to Darth Sidious, we dare not go against the Jedi? A, Rune Hako, D, B, Dalte, Define, C, New Gunray, or D, Te Hao. Uh, I think it was A, Rune Hako. Question 83. A long one. Oh, this is a really long one. 
After Qui-Gon was unable to get Watto to give him the parts that he needed to repair his ship, Qui-Gon contact contacted Obi-Wan Kenobi to see if there was anything of value on board that they could trade or sell for parts. After Obi-Wan told him that there was nothing of great value, Qui-Gon started through the streets again. Jar Jar protested, saying, We saw be robbed on crunched. Qui-Gon replied, Not likely. We have nothing of value. That's our problem. Jar Jar, however, found a way to get crunched. As they were walking through the streets of Mos Espa, Jar Jar spotted a tasty snack he couldn't resist. With his versatile tongue, Jar Jar snagged a gorg from the gorgmonger's cart when Gragra, the gorgmonger, insisted that he pay for it. Jar Jar let the gorg go, sending it flying directly into someone, into some being's lunch. After getting splashed, this being leaped across the table and grabbed Jar Jar, ready to turn him into orange goo until Anakin Skywalker happened along on his way home. After Anakin spoke to this being, a Hutsis, Hutties, the being decided it wasn't much of a good idea to fight with Jar Jar and went back to his lunch. Who was it? A. Jabba the Hutt. B. Sabalba, C. Eon Mac, or D. Gasgano. It was D. Gasgano. <sighs> Question 84. What was C.L. Bibble's career prior to entering politics of, on Naboo? A. He was a mathematics professor. B. He was an artist. C. He was a philosophy pr professor. Or D. He was a lawyer. It was C. He was a philosophy professor. Question 85. How tall was Sabalba? A, 1.20 meters, B, 1.14 meters, C, 1.12 meters, or D, 1.09 meters. It is D, 1.09 meters. Question 86. Who said, I will I will be Chancellor? A, Queen Amidala, B, Senator Team, uh, C, Senator Palpatine, or D, Senator Antilles? It was C, Senator Palpatine. Um... Question 87. What organization did Captain Panica belong to as a young man? A. A Republic Secret Service Force. B. A Republic Special Task Force. C. A Republic Special Service Force. Or D. A Republic Secret Task Force. He was a young man. To Oh. Belong to as a young man. Um... Should have been B, a Republic Special Task Force. It should have been that. Question Question 88. What was Chancellor Vagalone's homeworld? A, Tatooine, B, Coruscant, V, Vesicopia, or D, Aduba 3. It was C, Vesicopia. I forgot how to say it. Hmm. Question 89. How tall is Mason Windit? A, 2.05 meters. B, 1.88 meters. C, 1.97 meters. D, 1.78 meters. It is 1.90... No. 1.88 meters. Uh, question... 90. Hey, thanks for the like, dude. I appreciate that. Question 90. Whose lightsaber skills were second to none on the Jedi Council? A. Yarl Poof, B. Yodo, C. Placoon, or D. Yaddle. It was D. Yaddle. It was 100% D. Yeah. Question 91. We're in the 90s. Uh, when Waddle was younger, and what army did he enlist on his home world? A. The Nasiki Federation. B. The Osiliki Federation. C, the Nasaluki Confederacy, or D, the Osaliki Confederacy, or Confederacy. He enlisted C, the Nasaluki Confederation. Question 92. What Gungan competition and test of skill for warriors did Boss Nass win when he was younger? A, the High Dali 500. B, the Big Nasty Free For All. C, the Ota Gunga Big Bomb Ben Challenge. D, the Big Old Rice and Chase. It was 
A. The Hayan Dolly 500. Um, question 93. Who came in second place in the Bunta Eve Classic Pod Race that Anakin Skywalker won? A. Sebulba. Uh, B. Dud Bolt. C. Gascano. Or D. Alter Vito. I think it was Sebulba. I thought Sebulba died in the pod race, but now that I remember, I think he just got in first. Or, he got second, so I think it's still Bubba who got second. Question 94, against whom did Darth Maul's, or against whom was Darth Maul's final challenge before becoming a Dark Lord of the Sith? A, Darth Plagueis, B, Darth Bane, C, Darth Sidious, or D, Count Dooku? Uh, A, Darth Plagueis. Question 95, what was Newt Gunray's homeworld? A, Nambodia, Nambodia, yeah, Nambodia, uh, B, Vincent Zenpia, C, Tatooine, or D, Malastare. Um, I think it was A, Nambodia. Question number six. Ninety-six. Of what Naboo Council was Celo Bivol Chairman? The Governing Council, A, B, the advise Advisory Council, C, the uh, Torrent Council, or D, the Arts Council. This is Seal but this is Seal Bibel. It would be B, the advisory council. Who was the reign champion of the Bunta Eve Classic Pod Race until Anakin Skywalker won? A, Mao Hanek, B, Rats Tyrell, B, Audi Mandrell, or D, Sibula? Sibula. It was D, Sibula. Question 98. How many planets did Senator Palpatine represent in the Senate? A, 32, B, 36, C, 41, or D, 29? Um, in the Senate, and should be 41. Should be 41 planets. Question 99. What did Chancellor Valorum propose that led to the deadly summit of Eradu? A, the purchase of droid armies. B, the incorporation of an, of army, of an army of the Republic. C, taxation of trade routes, or D, the taxation of shipments from outlying mining colonies. Um, so it was a deadly summit. It would be D, then, taxing the shipments from outlying mining colonies. The last question, guys. The last. Question 100. Who rescued the orphaned de Depa Bilabu, Delaba, and brought her to the Jedi Temple. A. Yaddle, B. Mace Windu, C. Kaya D. Mundi, or D. Yoda. Let's go with the solid B. Mace Windu for the ending of this live stream. My back is freaking cracking like a machine gun. WW2. Oh. Question 100. Thank you all for subscribing. Subscribing if you didn't already Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for liking and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another live stream Goodbye. Thank you. Oh gosh, no, I didn't